Hey everybody, Jim Jager, Tactical Response, and today I have the, the world famous Jay Gibson. Hey everybody. <laughs> um, Jay, why don't you just kind of uh, go ahead and introduce yourself like you were going to like introduce yourself to a class, kind of tell everybody about stuff. Uh, okay, uh, I've been working for uh, James for going on seven years now. Uh, James and I met overseas working in Iraq. I was working over there for about three years and some change, something like that. <clears throat> and uh, Prior to that, I was working in Afghanistan doing the same kind of stuff. Uh, previous to that, my military history is uh, Marine Corps for 10 years. Uh, during that time, I was a scout sniper in 3rd Battalion, 5th Marines out on the West Coast. And I did a short, uh, a four-year hitch with an outfit called First SOTG, or Special Operations Training Group. And I've uh, done a lot of training here, done a lot of training uh, abroad as well. Okay, good. Um, what do you carry every day? What's your gun and knife and all that? Uh, my everyday carry is uh, I've got a Glock 19 in the appendix carry here. I have another Glock 19 on my left hip. I uh, have a cold steel folding knife here, and uh, I got a flashlight and a cell phone, and in my right pocket is a tourniquet. There you go. <coughs> um, favorite ice cream? Mm, I don't eat ice cream, but if I did, it would be vanilla. <laughs> Uh, stance on the Second Amendment. Uh, Second Amendment, absolutely. Uh, you already had the right to do all the stuff you want to do. Uh, the states are just fucking it up. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right. And the feds too. Um, too. Why did you choose this line of work? Like, um, like, why did you choose training? Like, what draws you to it? Um, I don't. It, it's kind of a catch twenty two. I don't know that I particularly chose it. I, I think it kind of chose me. And um, anywhere I would go to work, they would say, hey, you kind of know how to tell people to do stuff. Uh, and so I just, I just kept finding myself into more and more and more uh, training deals. And whenever I go to work, uh, we're always training our replacements. Uh, we're always training the new guys. Uh, so you, you really can't get away from it. It is part of the work. And if you stay in this, uh, it keeps you, you know, sharp. It keeps you where you're supposed to be, talking to the people you should be talking to. Uh, keeps you in the loop. Yeah. Um, as Jay said, we met in Iraq. He was the first smiling face I saw when I walked out of the Baghdad airport. And kind of the first thing that we were tasked to do together was train some Iraqis. And uh, so one, one little funny little story is we're driving to train him, and he's like, hey, you need to understand that these guys, sometimes they'll eat your earplugs. Mm -hmm. And, and if you don't understand what we're saying is they're used to getting handed candy by GIs and earplugs are brightly colored, foamy, marshmallowy kind of things. And so sometimes Rockies don't don't get it because they don't wear eye and ear protection. They don't get it and you hand it to them and they start eating it. So mm -hmm. so the, he says they're eating earplugs. And I said, hey, listen, Jay, I know I'm new to Iraq, okay? But I'm not new to training. You, you, know, you can't pull the old, hey, they're going to eat their earplugs on me. Sure enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was attempting to eat it, and, uh, for sure. But uh, if we would have left him alone, he probably would have pulled it off. All right. Uh, what's it like to work for me? Um, it's not as bad as the world may think. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, if you've got all your all your shit in line, you, you'll you be good to go. And no matter what I say, everyone wants to say, ah, it must be hell. Uh, no, just just keep your, keep your ducks in a row. You'll be fine. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> uh, favorite part about teaching? Uh, favorite part? Um, when somebody gets it. When yeah. they say, ah, this is it. Uh, I'm, you got me hooked. I'm, I'm on. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I like that. Just one, one more on our side. I'm good, I'm good with that. <laughs> right. Good. Uh, <laughs> what do you do when you're not teaching? What are you doing in your off time? Um, well, I, uh, I like to ride my mountain bike. Um, I like to exercise. I like to hike. Um, I am somewhat of an amateur photographer. Uh, I've taken a few pictures. Some downrange. Uh, some of them depend. You got to go to get the shot. <laughs> all the good ones are uh, in the front. All the good ones are in the front. <laughs> and um, so um, anyway, so I dabble in that kind of stuff. If uh, if you ever come to to hang out with us, train with us, and Jay says, "Hey, I'm going to go work out. Would you like to go?" The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. He does like this CrossFit kind of workout that people that are fit throw up when they do. Uh, <laughs> so the answer is the answer is no. Okay. You won't be able to train the next day. Um, what are your pet peeves? Like what do you, what drives you crazy with students on the range and stuff? Um, if I'm talking, they start talking. 
I don't like that. So I'll stop. So whatever you got, it's got to be important. JJ's kind of imposing. I really can't imagine somebody trying to talk over him. <laughs> uh, they just kind of wander off and get interested in something else. And I said, well, I'm sorry I'm boring you, but, uh, you know, when you're done with that, come on back. And we'll, we'll get All right, so not paying attention. And finally, favorite movie. I'm pretty fond of Cool Hand Luke. I kind of like it. I thought you were going to say, like, a James Caan, like a thief or... Uh, I really, know. if I were going to guess, that's what I would have said. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good choice. It's a little slow for most folks, I think. I don't think they get the whole, uh, there's kind of this undertone building. Right. I don't think every, I don't think we're patient enough to, right. to wait for it. So, uh, but, so you're uh, going cool hand Luke? Yeah, I'm gonna go, I think I'm going to go with, with Luke. I'm <laughs> going right. to roll with Luke. All right, is there anything you want to say in closing? Any other, like, final points or anything? Uh, look, uh, check us out on uh, Get Off the X. Uh, a lot of good stuff going on there. Uh, we talk, we put pictures, you might like them, uh, you might be in them, uh, and uh, check out our schedule. Uh, hope to see you in a class someday. All right, thanks. And guys, this is James Jager reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.